If the Omni Kings held a second tournament of power, which are the 10 most powerful fighters, Universe 7 should choose this time. Number 1 and 2 are Majin Buu and Moro. A combination of both physical strength and magic, they share a similar ability to absorb other fighters and inherit their powers, which will be very useful against opposing teams or when their own teammates are close to being defeated. Buu can even heal his own teammates, an ability he gained from the Grand Supreme Kai. Number 3, 4, 5, and 6 are Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, and Piccolo. Number 7, Granola, an extremely powerful fighter, and with his Solarian eyes, he can easily target the vital points and locate stealthy enemies. Number 8. Android 17. He has the ability to naturally grow stronger as time goes on. Number 9. Broly. This pick could go either way, because Broly still cannot control his anger. If he's pushed in the tournament, he could unintentionally kill his opponent and be disqualified. Number 10 is of course Black Frieza, who easily one-shotted Goku and Vegeta in their strongest forms. These are the three characters who have the most potential in Dragon Ball. Number 1. Gohan. The first Saiyan to achieve Super Saiyan 2 due to his Saiyan human hybrid nature and high level of S cells. As we see in Dragon Ball Super, superhero movie, he was able to beat Cell Max with his new beast form that he achieved without training. Number 2. Frieza. Frieza is one of the strongest villains in the series. As we see in Resurrection F Saga, not only was he able to match Super Saiyan Blue power level just by 4 months of training with his golden form, but he also easily one-shotted UI Goku and UI Vegeta with his new black form that he achieved after 10 years of training. Number 3. Broly. He is a full power Saiyan, born with a power level that can easily destroy a planet. Also, when he first fought Goku and Vegeta, he was easily able to match their power level just by fighting with them. Why is Beerus, the god of destruction from Universe 7, the most hated god among all the gods of destruction? This is due to his own actions. Long ago, during a hide-and-seek tournament organized by the Omni King, Beerus fell asleep for 50 years while hiding, which caused not only the cancellation of the tournament, but also made the Omni King mad. Because of Beerus's mistake, the other gods of destruction had to risk their lives and apologize to the Omni King. As a result, the other gods started to hold a grudge against Beerus, and they still haven't forgiven him. Even though Beerus is very lazy, he is still the strongest fighter among the gods of destruction, which makes the other gods even more jealous and angry at him. All gods of destruction, ranked from weakest to strongest. Iwan, the weakest among the gods. Arak, slightly stronger than Iwan. Lyqueer, known as the Cure. Jin, holds moderate strength. Sidra, displays decent power. Hiles, stronger than Sidra. Mosko, also known as Mule, has considerable power. Rumshi, his strength is notable. Shampa, if he weren't so lazy, he would be even higher on the list, due to his massive raw power. Quitala, despite his appearance, he has impressive strength and speed. He is extremely crafty and even beat Beerus in an arm wrestling match, though he isn't quite comparable in an actual fight. Belmod, a god of destruction who has two warriors in his universe with god of destruction potential, Jiren and Tapo, yet they still haven't managed to take his position. Beerus, definitely the strongest among all gods of destruction. As portrayed in the Dragon Ball Super manga, Beerus fought all the other gods by himself and still managed to fend them off. He is a monster among gods.